Suryagni, this money was like packed, stacked, and perhaps meant to be uh, to be put in some shell companies. We are told these searches apparently taking place just in the nick of time before the cash was moved out. Well, absolutely, Gaurav, and you know, I'll show you the house from where, rather the, res rather the residence, from where uh, this money was recovered. This particular one, this particular one over here, block 5, as you can see over here, there, over here, Arpita owns one particular, uh, one particular flat, which, uh, you know, where the amount of money was recovered from this particular flat itself, and it's still being counted, as Munish rightly pointed out, it's... Uh, 15 plus, that's what even, uh, you know, uh, the local ED sources are even telling us. But however, if you think this is the only uh, apartment that uh, Arpita has and the ED has raided in this premises, in this housing complex, you're completely wrong. Uh, apart from the ninth floor apartment over here, there is another one. We had visuals, we went there. Uh, that particular apartment is in uh, block 2. This is block 5. And in block 2, uh, the one, uh, the apartment that is under the scanner, it's being claimed that Arpita is the owner of that particular apartment and that has been seized it has been locked by the enforcement directorate we still do not know whether you know cash was found from that particular uh, uh, that particular apartment or not as uh, the reason why we are stating this is because all the counting that has been going and the visuals that we are showing our viewers are from this particular flat over here on the ninth floor of block 5 and as we are showing you visuals of this particular this particular uh, residence you can see that central forces are uh, you know deployed over here uh, the main reason is that the counting is on for a long, long time since the late afternoon and it's still being counted. So, God of the first raid uh, on um, Thursday at Tolliganj, the amount that was recovered was 21 crores and after that the Pandora's box opened up and that is when, you know, all these arrests, all these raids uh, started to happen and it even arrested Partho Chatterjee and uh, his uh, close, uh, close confidant, close eight Arpita Mukherjee uh, and today this is the second such this is the second such apartment where uh, the raid happened so much amount of money was found from this particular uh, residence and the other one we don't know what has been found as of yet but what we do understand is that uh, the state is witnessing uh, you know enforcement directed raids at the length and the breadth of this particular state starting from Kolkata itself this and, is uh, what we do understand that so hard to fathom absolutely look at these images Look at these two images on your television screen. 21 crore cash seized. And look at the cash haul today. They are still counting. And they say this could be as big, Munish. This could be as big, if not bigger. Look, 20 crore and counting already. How did this kind of money come? For how long was this on? And is there merit in enforcement directed officials saying this could well just be the tip of the iceberg well Gaurav we have been given to understand is that the counting will go on till entire night it means that uh, the cash amount of uh, which has been estimated 20 crore rupees at this point of time it will go much bigger now the exact uh, uh, amount of uh, money which has been seized uh, or which will be seized by the enforcement record we will only get to know in the morning but as far as uh, you know, uh, what ED has at this point of time and whether this is tip of uh, iceberg or not, sources have told India today that uh, this scam is of a very huge level. Now, as far as Partha Chatterjee's role in this scam is concerned, not only his role in the recruitment scam, but also there are multiple other scams which may come in light in future. Now, as far as this entire uh, cash recovery is concerned, remember, Goro, since the time ED has raided more than 41 crore rupees in cash, it, to be precise, 41.90 crore rupees. That is almost 42 crore rupees in cash has been seized. And why ED is saying that this is the same amount which is which was uh, looted by the ministers, looted by the public servants, and also by certain uh, aides of Partha Chatterjee uh, from the uh, common people, from the local people is because of the reason okay. that when the first premises of Arpita Mukherjee was raided, then there was an envelope in which it was written that 
government of West Bengal, yes. minister in charge and minister of in charge was uh, Partha Chatterjee at this point of time. So this is the very clinching evidence and an apartment where there is a huge amount of cash. Of course, it uh, uh, it translates a lot as far as the scam is Imagine concerned. Imagine this cash People was just lying the there. This cash was just lying there in multiple flats of Minister Partha Chatterjee's aide, Arpita Mukherjee. Keep tracking that story. Gentlemen, I will come back to you for more. For the moment, Surya Agni, Roy on Ground Zero and Munish Pandey tracking and breaking this big story. First and exclusive here on India Today. Many thanks.